I have my sketchbook open today, so that can only mean one thing. Actually, it can mean a few things. But one thing in particular, and that is that I'm going to fill a spread in my sketchbook. I've been doing a few character designs that are kind of random. I start with the drawing and it turns into a bit of a different drawing, but mostly the same drawing as it traverses from the left to the right of my sketchbook spread. But today I wanted to focus more on something a little bit more closer to home and designing an actual character that I've had for quite a long time. So let's get into it. I'm gonna start this the same way I start basically all of my, ooh, come on pencil. I can't find my good mechanical pencil, but luckily I got this one in a scrawler box recently. So I'll start with a full body, pretty basic pose. Just a drawing I like. This character that I'm going to be working on is, I don't know, I'd say probably five, six or taller. So we can stretch the proportion compared to how I maybe usually draw characters. Let me just sketch out her body type. I actually drew it too short. Stretch everything out. This is actually a secondary character in one of the many stories I have rumbling around in my brain at any point in time. So here I have a pretty basic plain character, I would say. There's nothing really original about them. They're just a body. <laughs> and now the fun part is adding in all the bits and bobs. It makes it really look like that particular character. I've actually only drawn this character a few times, so there's lots of room for improvement. Sometimes my characters change names, which is why I always call them character. And then I know exactly which one I'm thinking about, but her current name is uh, Stucky Mendez. <laughs> she would not dot her eyes with hearts, not her personality. And she is from one of my, <laughs> I'm kind of embarrassed to say this, my post-apocalyptic story. Everybody has one, so cliche, but uh, yeah. So that is definitely going to influence her design. I've always given her some kind of like vest in the past, so we can definitely start there. And she lives in a pretty warm climate. It rains a lot though, so that should also impact the type of clothes that she's going to wear. Put this more centered. Maybe you can see it better. Let me work on the face while I ponder the outfit. Now she should be pretty skinny because uh, this is a poke pop post-apocalyptic world and food scarce to a certain degree, at least where she comes from. All right, I'm gonna try and give her those pants with like a drop crotch. That's some reason calling to me like a jogger, but with some kind of like knee pads. Ooh, seeing a lot of like bunching at the leg in my mind. She needs to be able to like bend and flex and jump over things and kick things and run from things. I also want like an obscenely amount of like straps on things. Maybe they don't even all have to make sense. And then laces too, why not? <laughs> Love it. With her personality type, she's probably clenching a lot of the time. So I'm gonna <laughs> give her fists instead of open hands. All right, I'm finding a silhouette here. I like the tight on the top with the baggy on the bottom. I might exaggerate the bagginess, but we'll keep working on this one. I also, the reason I'm actually drawing her today is because I saw this image on Pinterest of someone wearing a baseball cap with a hood over top. And I was just like, oh my gosh, that is so stucky. So <laughs> we have to include that. I don't know how I'm gonna like attach a hood to everything, but uh, we're gonna try. And that's what today's about. <laughs> figuring out how to make her outfit look good with a hood and a baseball hat. She has dark hair, so we can shade that in. It's kind of short in the front and a little longer in the back. A mullet. <laughs> yes, it's a mullet. It just occurred to me, I don't draw a lot of hoods like on top of heads, so I'm gonna have to figure this one out. Another thing I need to keep in mind is that, you know, there's no fast fashion in the apocalypse. <laughs> So anything she's wearing should be stuff she's found or gathered. Thrifted, you could say. <laughs> Hood is not really looking as good as it did in my mind, but we have a lot of sketchbook to cover here. Look at all this. Let's crop this a little. And that creates a contrast in the shapes. So we have a large shape and a smaller shape. We could put, this might go a little baggy overboard, but what if this is like a hoodie? And then underneath this vest, so it's like a tight fitting vest. And then under that, she's got the rest of the hoodie sticking out. It suits her, but I don't know if it like weighs her down a little too much. Yeah, it's a little bit of like a princess poofy sleeve. So maybe if I tone it down, cause 
She's not stereotypical princess type. I'm gonna darken this up just to separate it from everything. We could add some more of those like straps. I don't think we have enough of them. I wanted like a lot. We could actually enlarge in the hood even more. That would add some contrast. Should we cut the pants off a little? <laughs> cut the pants off. I mean, trim the hem, not hem, waistline. <laughs> Had a belt, definitely. Something's not right. I can totally see her wearing this, but it needs work. <laughs> Which is what we're doing, so that's fine. If we just add a random strap here, and a random strap on the other side. It just looks like band-aids on her pants. And we gotta give her some gloves, maybe fingerless. She's gotta look cool. That's kind of what I'm looking for. Maybe we're not there yet, but she should look cool. Okay, personality traits, cool. That's her first personality trait, okay? <laughs> I wanna just do try a close up of the face with that hat poking out of the hood situation. She's not really the smiley type either, so I'm always gonna pull the edge of the mouth down a little bit if I have the option. <laughs> Let's work on that baseball cap. Kinda this her shape. And then the hood. Ooh. Look at that shape. That's a fun shape to draw. Mm-hmm. I also want her like coolness to like seem effortless. I don't want it to look like she's trying. She's just trying to stay alive and she looks cool in the process. Let's see her body. We can try and draw like that torso section too while we have it. I mean, there's space. Do you like drawing your own characters? Do you have characters? Do you have stories for your characters? I, I really like brainstorming and coming up with ideas for characters and like their stories and having them have interesting like plot points but I feel like they're just kind of things that I like to tell myself. I don't know if they're things I'd ever like really share but I want to draw them. That I don't mind. <laughs> I think there's something special about having something that's kind of your own. Okay I am liking this little drawing. It's a little bit more expressive. Let's give a little uh, dirt. <laughs> Maybe it's been a couple days since she's had a bite off. Still don't know about the like hoodie situation. We could try. It is like an oversized hoodie, but she cut the sleeves off because she was too hot. So we can have like edges sticking out of there. Maybe you see the edge of the sleeve and then the sleeve she created by cutting it. I do like that that adds a bit of a roughness to her that she didn't have before. Maybe we can add like a couple like bites <laughs> moth holes out of her hoodie okay i don't have those like straps so she can hold things here is that a thing it would have like pockets in it i i really like the addition of like the cropped sleeves so i'd like to try and draw another full body see how that looks with like the pants and everything Obviously, I'm open to change. <laughs> Let's try drawing her in a different pose, actually. This little mm. edge might cause a problem, but... Let's try drawing someone sitting. How does one draw someone sitting? Here, she's contemplating something terrible that just happened, which is a regular occurrence. This is like my depressing story that I write when... <laughs> That's where I need to go. But trust me, the main character is a bright ray of sunshine, so it's still my story. <laughs> I don't know if I mentioned, but Stucky is not the main character. I'd consider her a main character to a degree. It looks like she's sitting on the toilet. <laughs> I probably should also draw her with like backpacks and stuff because part of the story, she's definitely living without one specific place that she'd call home. So she should be able to carry anything she needs on her person. Okay, yeah, this is kind of falling apart here. I can't really see what I'm doing. I should also probably try and make her look a little older because <laughs> that does not, it's a bit on the young side there. Hey, but she was young once, so it's not completely inaccurate. She should be early 20s, I think. At least that's how it is in my mind currently. That's what I like about stories. You can change anything at any point in time, as long as you haven't written any of it, which is probably why I don't write any of it. <laughs> Maybe by adding a little under eye circles. Like things keep her up at night, which they would. This butt's gonna be in my way. So I'm just gonna <laughs> erase that preliminarily. Is that even how you use that word? We're gonna be looking a little bit from below this time. So I'm gonna draw the underside of the hat. I mean, I guess I could draw her once without the hood on her head. 
But no, I kind of want to see how the whole outfit looks all together like that. I might even be more mid-20s now that I'm thinking about it. That's my favorite thing about like drawing my characters is I can just think about them and make these decisions and like ponder different parts of their story. <laughs> I used to do this so much more often. I feel like when I was like 16, I used to just draw my own characters all the time and it didn't matter if it didn't make sense. It's definitely therapeutic. We want to keep those joggers. That looks weird. Why is it like her butt's on backwards? Because one thing about her character design that I know for sure is that her butt is on the back side. <laughs> I opened the v-neck a little on the vest. Let's see if that adds any cool shapes. And maybe we can have a little bit of that sweatshirt poking out the bottom there. Like she cut it so that you couldn't see it under the vest. <laughs> She's not super curvy so I'll try and uh, cut down on some of that. I include those weird pouches. I'm gonna try some tight pants this time. I just want to see how that would look. I've def the last time I drew her, she definitely was wearing more skinny jeans. And I feel like then we can like pump up the boofiness of like the boots. Oh geez, I just realized how slanted that is. If I can do that without erasing both legs. And chunk up the boots. <laughs> she looks shorter here. They don't really have any room, so we'll just have to deal with that. <coughs> She's definitely still slanted, so I'm just gonna turn the page this way a little so she looks more uh, balanced. Uh, something's still wrong with the hip section. Let me see, let me see, let me see. This is what I get for not drawing it all at once. More pockets. Maybe some weapons of some kind. I mean, I know what kind of weapons she has, I'm just not focusing on that right now. She's gotta protect herself. I think I actually have drawn her in other sketchbooks, like pretty old ones, so she's been around a while. I'm gonna end the pants like capri level and then go really, really cable-y and then, not cables, what are those called? Strappy, strappy boots. So I can like really emphasize the shape of these. And then the laces. Lots of random like lines and seams and things. They're cool pants. It's got a pouch on the pouch. <laughs> nice. And then maybe a high belt that like attaches to this pouch. And then maybe a backpack too, but you can't really see that right now. I just want to make sure that she looks kind of practical. Like everything about her design has some kind of use. Like her vest, I picture it being like kind of leathery. So it can like withstand a certain amount of onslaught. And then she like cut the hood so that her arms would be free because it gets pretty warm. And then she has the hood because it rains a lot. Although a hoodie hood's not gonna help you that much, but she does have the baseball hat. Oh yeah, that, I really like these like tiny little lines, like the under eye circles. I think they really, really suit her. I'm really happy with that. And her pants have like lots of pockets. They're really tight though, so maybe I should loosen them up anyway. <laughs> she can hold things. But also she, she needs to be like free. So she can like jump over things and nothing about her outfit should get caught on things either. So multiple different opinions on this, I suppose. <laughs> you could go a lot of different ways with practicality. Now I kind of just want to draw her with one of the main characters. She's much shorter and rounder. <laughs> I love her so much. She's my little ray of sunshine. Although I have not touched her character design in a while. So this might not, I mean, that's not what today's episode's about, but. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just draw what I've got. She's more pear shaped, I think, is the body type I would use to describe her. Only the eyebrows will be a little bit more pleasant. So they're arched and happy. Smile on her face. Freckles. <laughs> yeah, her design needs a little work. Lots of flyaways. These two are very close. Oh, they love each other. <laughs> She's very protective of this character. I actually don't know what to put her in. Let's see if she's a little bit more like free and easy. Jeez, I don't know what she wears. Shoot. I know what I used to draw her in, but I, I do not feel the same way about that outfit anymore. So right now she's just not wearing anything. <laughs> Let's give her some boots. Fully lace up. She doesn't have any cool straps. But it takes her like an hour every morning just to tie up these boots. Maybe we can put her in her shorts like she usually wears, but maybe we'll have to tackle her character design later. Because she needs it. There you go, we got one of the main characters. <laughs> it definitely needs a redesign. Okay, let's get some socks. And obviously we gotta add the little uh, 
bruises and things. <laughs> Jeez, I haven't drawn her in so long. I missed her. Ah! <laughs> Can you see the personality difference? I think my favorite thing that came from this drawing so far is these cut off things. I've seen, I feel like it has a weird connotation because of the people I've seen wear kind of things like that, but it suits her really nicely. I feel like she kind of pulls away from that in a way. Oh, this is getting me inspired to like ponder her, their stories. Ugh. So this is obviously one of my stories. I have a lot of stories going on, like I mentioned earlier, you know, like Magna Girl and other things. <laughs> But I'm just wondering if that's kind of normal to have like lots of different stories and like equally love all of them. And then I'm like, well, let me come up with a new story that's simpler that I'm not as attached to so that I can hmm. do it and fail so that I can learn. And then I become equally as attached to it. So <laughs> that is why I have so many stories. I'm just wondering if anyone else has any similar experiences. Cause like I keep wanting to try and actually complete something, have a nice beginning, middle, and end, but I don't know, I get too attached and then I'm worried about messing up so then I do nothing. I'm really liking this spread. Like I've been a bit of an art block and things haven't been working out as well. And this, ooh, I'm really happy with this. Okay, let's finish strong here. Well, even if it's bad, I don't care. The rest is nice. But let's finish up this little page here. Should I do another attempt at sitting down? Let's try looking to the left because this one's the closest I've gotten. That one doesn't count. So we'll draw her looking to the left. Let's try and make her look a little taller. I think I need to elongate her so that I can kind of stretch her a little bit more and then exaggerate her differences in body that I have not quite been able to do the way they are right now. Oh, I forgot about this hat. I love it. I'm actually gonna take her hood off this time. Ooh, how's that for a finale? <laughs> we can maybe show her backpack and then maybe we'll be actually be able to draw her hair. You know what? I kind of like her without the mullet, just the short hair. Oh, let's leave it that way for now. That's like one of the few things that I knew about her design for the longest times that she had a mullet. And now I'm second guessing that. If that means I'm growing as a person. I'm learning to let go. <laughs> for now, all of the vests I've drawn always have like a straight across. Could I try to make it pointy? Kind of like Anna and Elsa. <laughs> They all have those like pointy vests. I think at one point she had like really long boots, but yeah, I really moved away from that. I didn't, <laughs> didn't last long. Just seems so impractical. Imagine having to put those on every day. <laughs> okay, and then I wanted them to be capri length. Oh yeah, I'm really liking that. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Her design has definitely improved. You're next. We'll chunk up these boots. Let's have her holding the straps maybe. That could be a fun pose. I don't know how much she needs to survive. I feel like she can get away with not having much. So maybe this backpack's too big. But I do like it having like kind of pouches on the straps so she can access like small things like dental floss. Ooh, see, I ended up drawing her curvy again, probably because of her. So we need to slim that down. That is not in the cards for her. I really like the way I drew this shoe. It's like one, two, three, four lines. It just seems so simple. I like it. She looks so tired, but I think that kind of suits her. She's been through some stuff. She kind of carries the weight of the world on her shoulders there. <laughs> Let's draw little grasses. Oh look, they're standing in grass. There we go. Here we have Stucky Mendes. It's a weird saying their names out loud because it's just like stuff that like cycles in my head. Let me know if you uh, would like to see me maybe explore future stories or characters on the channel or if I should just keep it to myself. Thanks for coming along with me as I filled a sketchbook spread. <laughs> I had way too much fun with this. I don't know if that should be allowed. You know what I didn't do? I didn't add any color. Should I add some color? Her color scheme is like dark grays and like desaturated purples and then she's more of like a turquoise girl. We could at bare minimum just do a little bit of swatching here. So she's kind of like purples. Actually more close to maroons I think. I always like to swatch near the center in case I don't use markers on the outside. That way when I draw on the next page I don't have to worry about the bleeding because it'll be like in the center where you don't really draw. <laughs> yeah that is a pretty good color. I want to see what it would look like with a little bit of like a neutral four maybe on top. 
and maybe neutral too. Definitely kind of like the raspberry mixed with the neutral four. And then maybe just also some neutral four for an added color. Purple, I think we're going too far from her. Maroon. Do I have anything else that's like maroony? Shoot, I don't think I have anything. Purpley red. What about baby blossoms? Mm -hmm. I definitely want to keep it dark and desaturated because this is a post-apocalyptic world. There's no bright colors except maybe where she's involved. We also need to have like some really dark, almost black because she has dark hair and things. I feel like that's decently accurate to her color scheme. Kind of want to add a little uh, strap right here. Ooh, now it looks like backpacker stucky. <laughs> it's just an extra line, a little more something something. Kind of see where I started, where we finished. I do want to color one, but I don't want to ruin any of these sketches because I really like them. Maybe I'll color this one digitally. Ooh, how does it look? Does it look all right? I hope it does, because if it doesn't, I'm not including it in this video. That's fun. I'll see you guys all next week. Let me know what you drew if you decided to draw along. And yeah, have a delicious evening full of waffles. Bye.